And this was probably not the smartest thing to do. We're gonna get through it. So welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna review this guy, which you probably already know from the title, but it is the Revlon Salon One Perfect, One Perfect, One Step Hair Dryer and uh, Voluminizer. So it is, if you guys are not sure, it is a blow dryer and like a round brush all in one. So you're supposed to get like that salon blowout with this tool. So just to give you guys a little bit um, of an idea of my hair, I have curly hair. I'll insert like some photos here if I can find any because I don't wear my hair natural too much. I wanna see how this works on thicker, frizzier, coarser, curly hair. I feel like I'm not gonna get the best results as somebody with like a little bit more straighter, thinner, finer hair, but I still wanna put it to the test for us curly haired girls, okay? Now, typically when I do blow dry my hair, I use a big round brush and I use a blow dryer. So I'm used to giving myself the blowout, that's kinda how I straighten my hair. I have not used a flat iron on my hair for I think it's been almost two years. I wanna see how this goes, okay? So if you guys have curly hair or just wanna see if this works, keep on watching. All right, guys, let's jump in. So in my hair, it's been air drying for about a half hour, but I don't believe you're supposed to use this on soaking wet hair. So just make sure you leave it to dry. I think it's probably gonna be about 50% dry. The only thing I have in it is this stuff right here, which is what I always use regardless of what I'm doing with my hair. It's the Extraordinary Oil. Um, it's a luscious oil serum. It's instant shine, silky touch, lightweight, non-greasy. It's a leave-in treatment for dry, lifeless hair, which is this. The thing is, when I take this towel off, my hair will start to dry a little bit more quickly. Um, so I do have a little water bottle. If the ends kind of start to dry um, pretty rapidly, I will just saturate it a little bit with some of this just water. Now you could kind of see here the settings. You pretty much just like turn this big knob right here. You have the off button, you have the cool button, low and high. But I love that they have a cool shot button because I love to do that even like on my regular blow dryer. It's honestly not as heavy as you would expect expect it to be. I thought this was like really going to give me a workout. Um, so yeah, you basically just turn it on. I'm pretty sure. Just turn it on and just kind of like run it through and twist it because it is a brush and blow dryer in one. I did get mine at Walmart. So it is listed on Walmart. That is where I got mine. It's, it says it's $45.90 online. In stores, it was like $58 and some change. So not sure, maybe by the time you hit shipping, it'll be close to 58. Here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. And some of you guys, this hair might be new to you. You may have not seen this hair, but this is it. So if you guys have hair like this, you're about to find out if this works. I always start on the top and then work my way down. I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna give you my review and my thoughts as I do it. Throw this obviously into like, not really a voiceover, but like play music for you guys because this is gonna probably be loud. And I'm just going to clip the rest of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this right here, which is pretty much just like my bangs. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the high setting first. Start there and see what we come up with. So I'm gonna do a little bit and as I continue to do it, cause I wanna show you guys like the motion, I'm gonna like stop and give you like my thoughts as I progress throughout this. So stay tuned. So, one thing I do want to point out, I love this like body that I get when you do that cool shot. So, what I did is I started off on high. High is high. Like it's high. It's loud and it's super super high. Like the the air blowout is intense. Um, but I need that honestly for my hair texture. And I do like the cool shot. Um, I kind of hold it there, let it cool down, and then kind of like try and like get this little like flip action going on. And I love how the bottom is kind of like, has a little bit of wave to it because that's 
what I like. Like this is not gonna get your hair super poker straight. You'll probably have to like run your flat iron through, but for somebody like me who never uses a flat iron and you like more voluminous hair, I feel like this is gonna be kinda good. And what I always do when I do my blowouts is I start here and then I just take like a little um, hair tie and I just kinda like tie it to the side. So one reason why I kinda like put everything, pull everything to the front, you'll see as I continue, as the hair continues to cool down, it's gonna continue to cool down like frontwards. That way when I flow it back or like push it back, I'll have that volume, which I'm hoping happens with this because that's how it you know, works when I, when I blow dry my hair. So, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this next section and continue to work back. I'll speed through, put some music on, and I will keep you guys posted. Okay, one thing I do want to mention that I don't like. Um, I don't like how the control is like at the bottom here because I feel like when I go from the hot setting and I want to go to the cool setting, I have to like, you know, take both hands and like do that. You know what I mean? Like it would be nice if it was like, like right here. That way you can just kind of like click it and then keep going. I just feel like to get to the cool setting, it's like, it's like an extra step. You know what I mean? So nothing that's like make or break it for me it's just something that i'm noticing um i also like this little guy it doesn't overheat um so as you're like pulling and turning this makes it super easy for control so i do like that but this is powerful like if you have thin fine hair do not use the high setting it's going to be way way too much for you um yeah i'm gonna keep on going Okay, so now typically what I do is I kind of like throw it all to the front like this. So I'm just going to do this and literally just keep it like this for like two minutes. I know this is crazy, but this is what I do. And the um, reason, like I said, I do this is because with all the hair pulled forward, as it continues to cool down even more, it will kind of like dry facing forward that way when you flip it back you get that volume which i'm hoping works as good as it does when i do this with my my regular routine so i'm just gonna hang out here this is the moment we've all been waiting for so i'm going to flip it and we're gonna see what happens here we go i'm so 
We gotta like shush it, you know what I mean? But look at the volume. Okay, I'm really excited. Okay, so I usually put my hair like to this side. So. God, I feel like I got even more volume than I do with the round brush. Can we talk about this? Look, see, I like, this is typically how I like my hair. I like it to be, now I don't have like extensions in or anything, so this is like just my hair, but I like the curl. I like a little bit of bounce at the end, which is why I never really wear my hair straight because I always try to curl it to get this. But look, I already got it. I love the top right now because I love keeping my top like pretty messy and I love how this is like falling right now. I'm super excited right now. That is so nice. Okay, can you guys see like how I have like a little bit of lift? That is what I love. I hate flat hair on me up there. I'm telling you, if you pull your hair forward and continue just to keep it forward, I feel like that really helps. That volume up here. I love this guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have hair like me and you saw that before and you see this after, I mean this is incredible and I just feel like it's definitely worth the money, especially if you consistently are one to blow dry your hair. So I like it, it gives you the body, it gives you the wave, it gives you the va va voom that you want. It's just, if you want poker straight hair, you're gonna have to go in with the flat iron. Um, but me, this is my type of hair. So guys, that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what your thoughts are down below. I love to hear from you guys and leave me any other suggestions that you may have and would like to see on my channel. And that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.